in the Netherlands section of the uh, of Eureka Park, I think, in uh, in the Sands Hotel at CES. And of course, I had to stop by a Netherlands booth because we have a lot of friends in the Netherlands. And I'm here with uh, Dr. Jeroen van der Hoot. Did I get close? Yes, that's correct. Perfect. Yes. We're going to talk about a really interesting medical device. What are you What are you showing us here today? That's correct. So what we're showing here is a, a innovative uh, device for detecting epilepsy during night because uh, one in 100 people does suffer from epilepsy and if you have epilepsy if you're lucky you can get medication that works but if you're unlucky one-third of the population with epilepsy uh, does is not helped by any kind of medicine so meaning that every day they're afraid when the next epileptic seizure will occur now if you want to take care of somebody with epilepsy it's important that you're there after a seizure or during a seizure during daytime it's a challenge, but it's doable. There's people around. And exactly. So at night, there's a real challenge because the, the people that are taking care of the people with epilepsy sleep themselves. If they're professional caregivers, they cannot stay in the same room. Stand so there and stare at somebody sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, at this time, if you would be a parent with a child with epilepsy, you're advised to sleep with your child all night, every night. So what uh, the, 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 uh, a group of neurologists from the Netherlands, they joined forces and they've worked for 15 years on a, a large research project. It started as a research project to detect all kind of dangerous epileptic seizures during night. And these are seizures where you com, com, could potentially die from. This is a group of different kind of seizures. I don't name them all, but all of them have a potential risk. And what the group of neurologists did is gather a group, a large group of patients, measure their heart rate changes and their movement patterns, and based on that, develop an algorithm that can detect these kind of seizures during sleep in a, a very high sensitivity with very low false alarms. Because this is a challenge. Right, right. So uh, this is this is developing essentially a profile of what a seizure looks like exactly. with heart rate and what else did you say? Movement patterns. Oh, so interesting. Shaking or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but a specific type. Yes, but there are a lot of seizure types that do not involve movement and still are dangerous. So that's why we also added the parameter of heart rate changes. And uh, okay. this combination has, uh, has yielded this product as a spin-off of this group of neurologists. It's called the Nightwatch. It's worn on the upper arm, like here. It has a heart rate sensor and a movement sensor. You wear it when you go to sleep. It looks, I'm going to describe this for the audio audience as well, is it's basically like, a, I don't know, maybe three inches by two inches and it's just held in his arm by a, a light elastic band. It looks pretty comfortable yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, and the idea is it's just shipped in a box like this uh, and the idea is that if you, you are helped by this, you do not need to connect it to any mobile phone. It's just a solution that works out of the box. It doesn't have to be configured on a specific uh, patient. It works out of the box. Now this, the idea is you wear it on your upper arm and the base station that is connected wirelessly to this device, you place it on the uh, uh, table next to the bed of the parents for example or in a professional care setting you could connect it to a nurse call system. Okay, so it's got an ethernet jack so it yeah. connects uh, yeah. to the network and then has a wireless uh, transmission yeah, from the device. Yeah, but you don't need to connect it to an anything if you just work, it, it's like a baby monitor in basic. So you just put this on your bedside if you have a child with epilepsy, as soon as the device uh, detects a seizure, a dangerous seizure, this is going to ring, you're going to wake up, you're going to check on your baby. Wow, that is, that is pretty cool. So I see you've got an iPad in here. What, yeah, or, this is only for or, Not an iPad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so you can see what, the, uh, what it would look like on screen. Yeah, so there is an app, though? Yeah, well, there is, a, there is an online data portal that you can use for exporting the data. So all the measurements can be uploaded so you can get overviews of your seizures uh, during, uh, after each night and, uh, and, and get overviews. But the interesting uh, philosophy behind the, this machine, this, this device, is that you do not need it. So if you are, so, because you can imagine that if, you, if you're facing with epilepsy and you, you cannot sleep because your child has severe epilepsy, 
you if you need to connect to an iPhone or a, a smartphone you are in constant uh, you, you have you, intellectual yeah it, it, if, if, if everything okay if my battery is charged and everything this a is a lot of worry and you're yes. trying to get away from worry exactly right? so if you do not connect it to the internet it still works and if you decide to connect it to the internet then you get all kinds of data storage and insights and that's kind of and stuff. those insights I would imagine would be helpful to show to a doctor as exactly. far as medication and, and exactly. okay exactly that's true so if you compare this to to what is there in the market now and why this is so innovative the big thing is there is so many different devices out there that can detect epilepsy I mean you you explained to me that you're an engineer um, you can imagine that it's not very difficult to create a device that detects specific movements sure. but so it's fairly easy to create a device that takes epilepsy. It's very important, uh, difficult to de 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 design a, a de machine that detects epilepsy but it does not ring on other events. Okay. And this so is it's the false challenge. alarms that are, that is, that, that's, that's worse, right? Well, not worse. I guess it's better to be notified, but if, if nobody can sleep because it's going off all the time. That's absolutely like true. Like dreams, for example, yeah. right? Well, that's absolutely true, and that's why and I, I, I really I, I make this as a statement, but at this point, there is no device in the market that is working as good as this device because we have a, performed a very large clinical study where we uh, uh, compare this device to the best available alternative on professional level, which is a movement-based uh, based sensor in, a, in the bed. Oh, okay. uh, and, uh, and we detect, the night watch detects nine out of 10 of all dangerous seizures, while as the, the bed mattress detect 25%. So it's a huge improvement. Wow, that is fantastic. I wanted to ask you to repeat something you said at the very beginning, because I think I misheard it. Um, I thought I heard you say that one out of 100 people has epilepsy, but that's not the statistic, right? Well, there's, there's, there's a lot of different statistics out there. As if you would, you would, if you go, would go around here and interview people, one in a hundred people suffers from epilepsy. One of, one out of fifty of each pe person has uh, uh, will be having epilepsy somewhere through, during their lives. Really? I'm sorry. I'm going to go double check that stat because that. I mean, you know your business, but I've only met like one or maybe two people in my entire life, and I've been around 61 years, so I didn't know the statistic was that high. Yeah. Well. I don't know, maybe it's different in your country, but I would doubt that. No, I doubt it. I don't think biology is that much no, different. I, I think so, I think and so. I yeah. have a bad habit of arguing with people who are experts in a subject, So, uh, I but mean, I wanted to check that. Uh, I mean, the thing is that, uh, that if you have epilepsy, it's not always a lifetime disease. It can come and go away. Okay, so uh, let me ask one other question. Uh, there, are, there are seizures that are not epileptic, is that correct also? Well, that's correct, but this, then it's not called epilepsy. So if you, you, are, you are diagnosed with epilepsy in the Netherlands, you are diagnosed with epilepsy if you have at least two seizures that are diagnosed as epilepsy. Okay, okay, yeah. so it is a distinct thing. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's true. And the, the thing is, it has a huge impact on your life because, uh, because you cannot drive a car and uh, that oh, kind right. of stuff. Oh, right. Oh, sure. And, uh, yeah. and, and, and people that take care of you have to be very aware of you. Because if you look at death due to epilepsy, in the Netherlands, there's uh, 17 million people living in the Netherlands. And e each year, 150 people, they die in their sleep. Uh, due to epilepsy. Oh, wow, and wow, this is an important... Uh, yes, important. This, is, this is the thing. Um, the chances of dying from epilepsy are not huge, yeah, but they are considerable. And this is the major fear at parents, at caregivers, that you go in the morning to people, a uh, pe person with epilepsy, and, and he is, has disease during sleep. So uh, the thing is that... Whether, whether it's likely to happen or not, if you're afraid of it at all times, this would be a good thing. The thing is, the thing is death due to epilepsy is called SUDEP, S-U-D-E-P, and it's called Sudden Unexpected Death Due to Epilepsy. The thing is, they don't know why exactly it's happening, but they know it's happened after a seizure, and they also know is that if somebody is present in the room, it almost never happens. Now, we have a device that guarantees you that in nine out of 10 types of seizures, you are warned and you are there in the room. Very good. So uh, this looks fairly productized already. Uh, when do you expect to be able to ship this? Yeah, well, we already uh, shipped this in uh, Europe. We are on the Dutch market for over a one and a half year. We have already obtained market leader position with this device. We shipped uh, nearly 1,000 units already. 
and uh, we are now expanding the business. So this is the first time we bring it to the US. It is a medical device. So you have to do FDA approval. Yeah, so we are in, in, in the early stage of, of, of this process, but then we hope to meet a lot of people that can help us with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So uh, the name of the product is Nightwatch, yeah. and the name of the company is? Live Assured. Live Assured? Yeah, yeah. And uh, what's your website? Uh, it's uh, www.nightwatchepilepsy.com. Nightwatchepilepsy.com. Thank you very much. This is an important product. Well, thank you for having us. And uh, yeah.